Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. More recreational marijuana sales. Delaware House passes a bill to launch recreational marijuana sales early through existing medical cannabis dispensaries. The Delaware House of Representatives has approved a bill to launch recreational marijuana sales early through existing medical cannabis dispensaries while adopting amendments that appear partially responsive to equal to equity related concerns from advocates. About a month after the legislation from Representative Ed Ozinski, Democrat, moved through the committee, the full chamber passed the amendment measure in a 29-11 vote on Tuesday, which is a pretty solid vote, sending it to the Senate. <clears throat> the bill would let current medical providers convert to a dual license that could serve both patients and adult use consumers months earlier than the current sales timeline. House Bill 408 would create a conversion license category, laying out requirements for medical cannabis businesses to apply and also stipulating that the applicants who are denied due to local bans can apply for general licenses for a new location, which must be approved as long as they meet the requirements, which is kind of cool. Prospective conversion licenses would have to demonstrate that they can continue to meet demand among medical patients, show plans to support the state's social equity program, and enter into a labor peace agreement with a legitimate union, for example. As the bill advanced, some advocates raised concerns about the prospects of giving the state's few existing medical cannabis dispensaries such an advantage over the other prospective licensees, particularly equity applicants. To that end, the House adopted an amendment to the legislation on Tuesday codifying that all funds derived from conversion licensing fees that the existing businesses would have to pay in order to serve the recreational market shall only be used as sources of financial assistance for social equity applicants issued a conditional license. Ozinski said during Tuesday's floor discussion that the bill would allow those that are coming in that were disproportionately affected by the, God bless Jason Beck, I'm getting disproportionately affected by your exhale the best in the world <laughs> financial assistance that were disproportionately affected by the prohibition on marijuana to have financial assistance just like many of our companies and corporations throughout delaware when they apply to expand here or move here so this will provide that resource for them and also allow them to get up get up it's crazy uh, <laughs> the chamber also approved an amendment from the bill sponsor that makes a series of changes including increasing the conversion licensing fee from a hundred thousand to two hundred thousand dollars <laughs> making it so the licenses expire after 24 months instead of 48 months requiring all applicants to provide an attestation that they will continue to serve medical cannabis patients and other revisions with the current lack of regulated adult use access, there have been examples of unlicensed businesses selling cannabis, underscoring the urgency of enacting the bill, Ozinski said, adding that he agrees with colleagues that we need to bolster the compassion centers also and make sure that they are not harmed. Under the legislation, the Delaware Office of the Marijuana Commissioner, OMC, would need to open the applications for conversion licenses by August 1st of this year. The application window would close on November 1st. Conversion licenses could start selling cannabis upon approval prior to the license expiring. Businesses could apply for general licenses. Meanwhile, last month, Delaware's governor signed into law separate legislation to significantly expand the state's medical cannabis program as regulators take steps to launch the recreational marijuana market. The new law approved by Governor John D. Carney, John Carney, excuse me, removes limitations for patient eligibility based on a specific set of qualifying health conditions. Instead, doctors will be able to issue marijuana recommendations for any condition that they see fit. The measure will also allow patients over the age of 65 to self-certify for medical cannabis access without the need for a doctor's recommendation. Also, a Delaware Senate committee separately passed a House-approved bill in April that would enact state-level protections for banks that provide services to licensed marijuana businesses. All of this comes as regulators are rolling out a series of proposed regulations to stand up the forthcoming adult-use cannabis market. The current timeline puts the launch of the market at March 2025, according to Delaware Marijuana Commissioner Robert Coop. The Delaware House passes a bill to launch rec- Oh, that's it again. We've done it. So why do you give it to me twice? But we got it twice. I think that this is really interesting. I like the fact that <clears throat> they're requiring some, some sort of kickback to the social equity applicants. I do think that people who were bold enough to go ahead and throw their money in and do these things right the first time should get an opportunity to do this. I, I think Colorado allowed mm-hmm. some, some licenses to convert, which was really cool. You know, remember the, when we battled for the original four because they were trying to scroll back your ability to sell adult use, which was insane. Um, but I would like to see them actually have to do something as opposed to just their plan for how they're going to do it because you know you know the best yes. plans lead to lead to hell right well the, be- the best plans you generally don't get implemented because yeah. they're too difficult to implement 
they can't find their workarounds. Yes. But I'll tell you what, I, th I think this is all because of Hunter Biden's trial, personally, while Delaware is making this move. Do you, really? Mm -hmm. I, can we also address the fee? $100,000 is now $200,000, and they've shortened the period that it's going to be valid for two years, like by two years. So that's a that's a pretty egregious fee. Yeah. It sounds like a cash grab to me, but It's hey, definitely a cash hey. grab. I mean, I mean, it's Delaware. <clears throat> How many corporations do you think, how many Delaware corporations do you think are going to apply for these licenses? Well. Just saying. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good job. Uh, I, I said, I said it. What's that, Rico? What'd you say? Well, the, 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 the last time we talked about Delaware, it's easier to establish any, any business in Delaware without saying absolutely anything to make it as accessible as they do any other business license in mm. the state. Mm -hmm. They could be pioneers on that. How about that, Joe Biden? They don't is, know is, 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 is your home state? They I wonder don't. if he even I wonder if he even knows anything about this going on. There. Oh, I 100% think that they 100% know exactly what's going on. 100%. I don't, I don't buy for a 100%? second. 100%? 100, 150% Rico. They know what's going on. One hunter and fifty percent. You see what I, you see? What we're doing? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What do you think about this stone, Rochelle? Any thoughts? Delaware. Crickets. Crickets, huh? You guys on mute? Sorry, I'm sorry. I was. I was you were petting the dog, huh? Out. You were petting the dog, huh, Stone? I was not petting the dog. The dog's asleep. I'd love to hear what Rochelle has to say. <laughs> that's so very interesting stone because i don't have anything to say so let's keep her moving all right we're gonna keep this <laughs> fair enough fair enough fair enough fair enough delaware congratulations to all the people that will win in this delaware game we Michelle, all Rochelle, are you are, 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 are you in the are you in the hunt? But you're you're chonking the hunt the and... yeah you're 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 Wait, sound keeps going in and out a little bit rico so Sometimes you got to repeat yourself. Yeah, I mean, yeah. do you think that the, the Delaware change in, in adult on. use cannabis is going to help Hunter Biden's gun charges? That's what I'm saying. That's why I think they're, they're doing this. That's why I really think that they're doing this is because they think that they're going to be able to insert this and they're going to be able to get him a card and all that. And they're going to move to schedule three and all that. All of that. This is, this is all designed, all, all the benefit Hunter Biden, all of this.